Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to the Sandman. And in the last one, we had ourselves a quite a confusing little conundrum. Um, we had ourselves a, kind of like a little fetch quest in a way, where we met the um, weird unicorn thing that the Sandman apparently hates for some reason, because it wants to look at his jewels. And for some reason, that's a bad thing, because of the fact that the Sandman doesn't want him to do that. And then we also ran into Lullaby, and he ended up saving us from something that was kind of like a weeping angel, but instead of attacking us, it was trying to put us to sleep. And we also ran and got ourselves a um, magic mirror, which lets us teleport around. In this one, we're actually going to try and wrap up whatever is going on here. But apparently, the first things first is apparently we can use the wooden stick here, so let's try it out. Maybe I could break this glass wall with a stick, but what was it? Don't throw stones in a glass house. Hmm. But it's a fairy's house. And this isn't a stone. Hmm. Still a house, though. True. Oh, forget it. Yeah. And apparently that leads to this. Scattered shards of glass. Can I grab it? Got a glass shard. Okay, that's all we need then. So now we can actually go to these um, stairs that were blocked off from us originally. Okay. Ooh. New room. A bundle of papers packed with writing. Okay. Can't read it, apparently. Stone can't read his language, and I don't know why. There's so many memos, though. What about these? A pink jewel. Can I take this one? Oh, yeah, let's take it, then. Got a pink jewel. Cool. That's all we needed. We just needed the pink one. This doesn't seem as pretty as the other jewels. It's not very shiny. Yeah, it's not really shiny at all, is it? So, should we not give it to him yet? I'm gonna say probably not. There's a notice back here, though. Like the one with the emerald flame, maybe we can find something. A note that you can't read. It's peeling off slightly. Well, let's take it and let's go give it to Lullaby, then. I'm pretty sure we don't give it to him yet. A hole in the floor. Hmm. Mysterious machine. It has a long cord with a cup at the end. Oh, is it like sleeping gas? Oh, here, more water. Bucket of water. Can I take it? No, can't. Okay, um... Where was he at? He was near the tea room, I think. So let's go talk to um, Lullaby one more time and ask him about our next notice. Okay. Oh, wait, the wrong one. Notice number two. Oops. There we go. Here you go. Hey, Lullaby. Can you read what this says? Oh, that's from the jewel harvesting room. It's how to use the suction machine. Put suction cup on target's head and press the button. Huh? Eh? Weird, but okay. Actually, I'm just gonna use the uh, the mirror to take us back where we were. I think it was the medicine room. Yeah, here we go. Okay, let's make our way back to this room. Maybe now that we know what the thing does, we can use it to our advantage. I'm guessing maybe we gotta. S I don't even know honestly. Can I put the jewel in here? Maybe that'll work. Um. Not as pretty or it's lacking in luster. Let's try putting in the water. This jewel seems kind of dir dirty. Maybe I should wash it. Oh, we could try. Wash the jewel. Maybe it'll work. You never know. What the? The pink came off. It's actually a clear jewel. Oh, so this was a fake. Huck, this won't do. The unicorn would run me through. Okay, so yeah, let's not give him that jewel. So yeah, he would have killed us then. Good thing I didn't think about that right away, because I had a feeling that maybe it was a false lead, honestly, and thankfully I thought of that, because she did say it wasn't as lusterful as the other ones, and that made me kind of feel like I shouldn't have tried that. Um, let's see here. So, do we still have it then? It looks like we don't even have it anymore. Can I have my jewel back, or is that a no? Looks like a no, okay. So... Hmm. I don't know what to do with this machine, then. Um, suction machine. Maybe it's made the jewels in the other room, so maybe I could make a jewel. Oh, maybe. Um, suck up a jewel. Let's try it. Might as well see what we can get. So we're gonna pre- We put it on our own head. What? Okay, press the button. Is this even a good idea? It's like sucking out our brain, basically, was what I think of it. Oh, that one's pink. Perfect. Okay, cool. Um, a pretty pink jewel. Should we wash this one as well, just in case? Um, maybe. 
I'm gonna see at least if it's like lusterful or whatever. Um, pink jewel. Made by the suction machine. It's very pretty. Okay, bucket of water. Let's see if we can toss the pink jewel in there. Okay, you can't use it on anything, so that means we can use it. Okay. Um, let's try giving it to the unicorn. Maybe it's safe to use it now. The other one was because it wasn't as lusterful. But this one says it's pretty nice looking, so maybe it's a good thing. Um, let's just give him the jewel then. Here, unicorn, I brought you a pink jewel. Um, wait. Why is Sophie saying it? I'm gonna say it in his voice, because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the unicorn saying it. Oh, thank you. Finally, I can see this wonderful... Oh, hold on. Is this jewel's jewel yours, Sophie? Yeah, I made it. Is that no good? Um, no, it's fine, but... What is it? Maybe I did something kind of bad. Eh? Oh, nothing. I've been longing to see this. Here, you can have this. What is that? What's this weird colored rock? Um, it's a limp stone, and it has a special powers. When you touch it, you go all weak and limp. Great, isn't it? Um, what's the good in this? How does this help me stop the Sandman? First of all, how am I supposed to hold it? Oh, you can ask Dwarf about that. I'm sure he can make it into something you can use. Um, Dwarf? Uh, very good at making things, I assume. Hmm, you know him well. He lives in the cave west of Sandman's house. More open-minded than Sandman, so he should do it. Um, alright, I'll ask him. I'll give him you the stone in this bag for now. Wishing you for good luck, Sophie. Okay, well... Thanks, I guess. Hey, Unicorn, are you going to keep that jewel? Huh? Oh, nah, I just wanted to see it. But if you need it, I'll give it back. Oh, do you? Hmm. Hmm? There's a cha choice here. Oh. So this might be important, then. Uh... Hmm... Hmm. Let's let them have it, I guess. You can have it. Sure. We don't need it. Um, I don't need it. I don't know anything about jewels. Just keep it. M really? I'm not giving it back later, you sure? Um, yeah. Better the that the one who wants it has it. I'm not really interested in jewels and stuff yet. M hooray. Thanks, Sophie. Um, authentic number one. Huh? What does that mean? Well, whatever that does, it leads to something different, I think. Maybe that's where the game kind of, like, converges into two different endings, maybe? I could be right, because we haven't seen anything else that leads to an ending, so... I'm guessing that's how you get your endings. It's pitch dark inside. Yeah, it is, but we have to go in there. Is this where the dwarf lives? I can't see anything. Um, Mr. Dwarf, you gonna help me? Ah, someone there! Um, yeah? Um, I'm Sophie. Are you Dwarf? Oi, that I am. Sophie, is it? Nice to see ya. Uh, don't just stand around. Come in. Hmm? Okay, I'll come in then. Oh, is it too dark for ye? Um, could you do me a favor, Sophie? Um, what? There's a glimmers in the plain nearby. Could you catch as many as ye can in a cage? Should be a cage round here. Um, got it. Well, we can grab this little bird cage. Okay, something resembling a bird cage. Okay, well, let's get ourselves some glimmers, then. Okay, let's do a save. And let's do this. I don't know if these things can somehow kill me. Ten fairies remain. Okay. They're ch <laughs> It sounds like screaming children! Okay, that's not terrifying at all. But, honestly, this game hasn't really been that scary, so it doesn't really bother me. But, honestly, it's honestly refreshing. It's, like, a little bit scary, but, like, in some points where it's just, like, you got all the fairies. Fairy rescue. Hmm. Okay, so sorry um, that I did a cut. I wanted to actually see what the achievements we did were. And it looks like the ones that we got are... Apparently you get one for giving the unicorn the right gem. And then you get one for just finishing all the fairies. Just capturing all of them. So nothing too important. So I just wanted to check there, but... I felt like it wasn't really needed in the video to go through that and go see what it was, because technically you guys technically can't even see the Steam overlay, so there was no point in me having that in the video, so honestly, that was the reason. 
Um, dwarf, I caught a bunch of glimmers. Um, dwarf, you there? Seriously? Why? Yep. Ah, did I scare ye? Sorry for my ugly mug. Um, alright, come on in. Must be tired from walking. Hmm, I guess. You didn't have to jump scare me, though. Mr. Dwarf, you're not even that scary looking. You just caught me off guard. Hmm, flintstone, is it? Now where'd that unicorn get something this valuable? Um, can you make it into something I can use? Ah, not a problem, my girl. I'll start right away. Just take a seat and get a nap in ye, you want. Um, oh, can't sleep, can ye? Well, just sit tight then. Okay, I'll well, sit tight then. And hopefully whatever this limp stone is going to give us, maybe it's hopefully good? Say, Sophie, not liking it much in the human world, are you? Um, how do you know that? I just know fairies know everything about humans. Hmm, they do, seems like, I guess. Yeah, it's no fun at all. Nothing goes my way, I just hate all of it. At school, and with my friends. And with my dad. I thought you liked your dad, though. And with the guy I like. Well, you can't have David. I'm just gonna say that now. David's literally in a relationship. I'm pretty sure it's, um, he's married to her. Um, Dave. Hmm? Does sh she not know about her? I forgot her name, though. Hmm, so I think you should meet her, too. All, all I could really do is for her is listen. Maybe she'll be more willing to talk to you. A high school girl? I wonder. Those can be different. Don't want her to call me an old granny. Haha, <laughs> Sophie's not an ill-natured like you. She's a great honest kid. Oh, really? I'll try using that ill nature to my advantage, but you can come with me. Um, I'll be nervous. Hmm, of course. Make sure you listen good, alright? I feel bad how much she's got to deal with all by herself. Hmm, alright, I gotta go. Um, you got the day off, right? Don't want to walk me home. Um, I'm fine. Oh, are you coming over today? Mm, yeah, I'll get out of work early. I'll get a bite to eat before I'm there. Um, got it. See you. Hmm. Okay, so maybe they're not, like, in a relationship yet. Because in the Crooked Man, he was. But maybe this is before the Crooked Man, because we never got closure on that. Because... We never actually talked to the real David. We ended up talking to Lullaby. So we don't know if this is before Crooked Man or after. Just because of that. I was stupid for getting all excited over his kindness. David's just kind of kind to everybody. Hmm, I could see that one, honestly. He was pretty good. But he was the first person I really liked. Well, I'm sorry to say, but you literally can't have him. Um, thinking that tomorrow would be more of the same, I started to fear the morning more and more, until I even feared going to sleep. Oh, that makes more sense why she has insomnia now. Those lullabies, um, lullaby made, is that really what I wanted to happen to them all? Was I really thinking such awful things? Hmm, honestly, I doubt it. Hi, the other day, Unicorn got himself stuck in a mirror. Had a big laugh about that I did. And ye can't allow yourself that, seeing people with who annoy ye, having a bad time, can be a real relief. Doesn't make ye a bad kid to think that, and no point worrying about being good anyway, so don't go blaming yourself for the that sort of thing. Hmm. I guess, honestly. Um, thanks. You're nice, Mr. Dwarf. Well, that's just us fairies. We're friends to kids, course you're a little grown, but still a kid too. Well, tell that to Mr. Tooth Fairy. He didn't want to take our teeth unless it was a child's. Oh? E yeah, so it's fine to get back at the what peeves ye. Just putting up with some with it, it is what adults do. Hmm, I guess. Honestly, that sounds about right. Hmm, so what do we do with this limpstone? It looks like he turned it into some kind of wand. Um, it's wonderful. <laughs> Thanks for the pun. It's wonderful. Or, I mean... Is this a wand? Not it is. Swing this wand and I'll give you the effect of the stone. Mr. Drippy, is that you? You made us the Mornstar. <laughs> um, give me your hand for a sec, would ye, Sophie? 
Okay. Here, you can have my hand. Please don't kill me. What pretty hands! Can't see them, but I'm sure your eyes are the same. That's how it was with your mom, too. Um, you're blind, dwarf? I've uh, been staring to flames as I work all my life. Not that it's any trouble of not seeing. Darkness doesn't really bother me. Signs we fairies are hard workers. Me, the Earth Fairy, Nixie and Sandman too. Though, course, um, something's sometimes to a fault. To a fault? Well, just look at me. I can't see. Tooth Fairy's teeth are all rotten. Nixie's got, care, got a care for her skin always being in the water. Hmm, I guess. So that makes sense. So Sandman, because um, his his quirk is that he can't sleep, I'm pretty sure. Because look at his eyes. They're like bloodshot. And I don't think that's from just being, you know, walking around like how he is. So honestly, I feel like something, like, there was a reason why he put us all to sleep. Maybe to get sleep himself, maybe? That would honestly make sense. I can kind of piece the story together like that, if that's the fact. My dad collapsed from overwork, too. He got a hole in his stomach from stress. I'm worried for hard-working dad, eh? You have to treat him right. He's the only dad you've got, Sophie. Hmm. That is true. Now go on. Want to stop Sandman, is it? I'll be praying for ye. Hmm. Thank you, Mr. Dwarf. Yeah, thank you indeed. Hmm. Got a wonderful wand. <laughs> Literally. Um, anything special we should grab in here? Uh, it looks like I can't loot this place, so... I would like to take one of his swords, but I don't think it's gonna give us it. I thought that was bones, honestly, but apparently it's a pile of broken blades. Cool. I like the dwarf. I want to talk to him one more time. Hey dwarf, are you going to release the glimmers? Hmm, it'll be night soon. They die once night falls, so not much point. Huh? They die? Yep, they die at night. Then revive in the morn. That's not really dying, then. That's just sleeping. I feel kind of bad for them. Ah, do ye. Making makes sense humans are the same way. Sleeping dead at night, then reborn when they wake. Hmm. Oh, that is actually a nice little, like, you know. Honestly, it's a good way to, I guess, a, technically a way to see it. That's basically what I just said before the dwarf brought it up, but that's honestly makes sense. Uh-oh, something's happening. And there he is. Hey, Mr. Sandman. Um, please don't hurt me. He looks mad. Um, Sandman? Uh, please don't hurt me. Oh, no, he's mad. He's really mad. Um, what? Oh. Oh. Oh, he's just left the place. Okay, I thought he was going to kill me. Honestly, because we still don't know if he's actually a good guy or not. Um, what just happened? He seemed really mad. Well, he's obviously the antagonist, but he doesn't seem like a bad guy. We haven't ran into a problem with him yet. So honestly, I don't think he's, like, going to be, like, something of a major problem. He's obviously going to be, like, the problem till the end. Let's see where he ended up running off to. I'm going to say, let's go over where the horse was, or the unicorn. Hmm... Hello, Mr. Unicorn. What? That's hurt. Mm, what's wrong? You've got a big lump on your head. I mean, not your horn. Sandman's beat me up, and he took the pink jewel, and after you gave it to me and everything. Hmm. Explosion of anger. So you just beat up the poor unicorn? Well, I hate this. I hate you, Sandman. Wow, that's kind of rude. So you just beat him up for no reason. So he just ran- so he ran past me then. I don't know where else he could have gone, but that was pretty messed up. Let's see here. So now we have a couple things to work with, but it's nothing to, you know. Let's see here. Still no way of getting the, um, the lizard, though. Oh, maybe we can get it with one of these forks. Nope. Doesn't look like I can grab it. Eh, at least it was worth a shot. But, hmm... Yeah, the game's not going to let me just- Oh, wait, we got the glass shard. Can I cut the tail with this glass shard? Um, maybe. Let's try it. Cut the tail. Got a catter lizard tail. There we go. Perfect. Okay, all we're missing now is water. Because we need the water in order to start everything. Oop, that's the wrong one. It's the memo. Here we go. Okay, let's see here. Boil a pot of water with a red flame. Grind up a snore fruit. Boil the snore fruit. 
powder in cryogel fluid. When the broth turns blue, put in the cat or lizard tail. When the broth turns yellow, pour into a sand-making machine. Then push, push it. Okay. Well, there's a large pot, but what do I do with the rest of this? Because I still need water. And the game hasn't let me have any of the water. So, honestly, I don't know what to do. Oh, hello. The Tooth Fairy and the... And Nixie are in here. Um, Tooth Fairy, Nixie, why are you two here? Hey, Sophie. Um, we were just sitting down to tea. Um, isn't this Sandman's house? Can you just come inside like that? Um, can't you come and go as you please? Sandman's house is a place for everyone to gather. It's comfy and such a great tea, too. Hmm. Tea with a Nixie's boar. But Dwarf's not here. Guess the tea's good enough for that. I can tolerate an old water tr water wench, eh? Um, safe wait, you toothless grandpa. Same to you. I don't want to drink tea with a coot. I just have no choice with no handsome men around. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Hey, finally a smile, Sophie. Much cuter like that, you know. Oh, really? Um, oh yeah, so much better than your irritated look you have. Um, thanks. Hmm, fairies seem pretty busy with work. But from what I hear, you seem to be having fun. I'm kind of jealous. Hmm, you bet it is fun. Rotten teeth, sure, but I don't mind it. Um, oh yes, I do visit the human world at times, but this world's a clear winner for fun. Hmm. Well, how about staying here? Um, won't we'll have much fun if you go back, will you? Hmm. Honestly, I don't know if we can accept that one. Ah, uh, well, good luck to you, Sophie. We'll be watching how things go. Um, hope it uh, goes the way you want. Okay. Well, I'll see you later, I guess. Let's try talking to him one more time. Um, good on, Sophie. Hope there's no misunderstandings, eh? Hmm. Okay. Well, I want the water, but I don't know where to get it. That's still blocked. The door plate we still can't read. So this place isn't where we want to be. So we just randomly found that we can talk to them. That's kind of cool that we were able to do that, though. Because honestly, I wouldn't have guessed that. Hmm. There's only so many places we could still go. What was back here again? Because I haven't been here. Oh, this was us. Okay. So yeah, not there. Um. I'm going to say maybe the place with the water bucket inside um, where we clean the jewel. Because that's the only other water that I've seen. So, that's the only place I can think of going. So, let's see if the game will let me have it now. Bucket of water. Can I have it? No? Really? Seriously? I kind of need the water. <laughs> but other than that, I don't know what to do. Um, let's see here. There's only so many things I can do. I can't use the wonderful wand. Um, can I use the stick on the water? No. Um, hmm. Can I use the fruit on it? No. Hmm. I don't see anything. Maybe cell phone? Nope. Okay, I'll do a nice cut here just to figure out where I'm going next. Because I kind of met at a loss. Because I don't know where to go now. So, beer be boys and girls, and I'll see you very soon. Okay, so I know where to go next. So, now that we have that, let's continue our little journey here. Hello, Mr. Dust. Um, help, help. Um, what happened? The statue fell over. I can't move. Heavy, heavy. Hmm. Well, in order to help you out, we actually needed the stick. So, here we go. Just hold on a sec, I'll lift the statue with the stick. Um, you'll be out soon, got it? Um, okay. Hurry, hurry. Hmm, yeah. Well, there you go. You're free now. I'm out. I'm out. Thank you, Sophie, thank you. Um, are you hurt? Um, I'm fine. I owe you, Sophie. Lifesaver Sophie. Um, I'll give you this, um, good thing as thanks for helping me. Um, what the? These are pretty big for glasses. Um, read. You can read. Wear those and you can read anything. The Sandman's, but Lifesaver Sa Sophie can read have them. Oh. Okay, so now we can read his his writing now. Gone translation lenses. Okay, cool. That works perfectly. Okay, so I know where we can go now. Or at least, I know where we're going after this, but... I actually want to read those memos that we couldn't read before, so honestly, let's do that first. Because that definitely sounds like something I want to try checking out, because 
we I did complain that I couldn't read those earlier because I had no idea of how to read them. So let's see here. Let's see what this memo says. A memo, you can't... I can read it. What are you talking about? Okay, glasses. Put them on, I guess. Yeah, here we go. Wear glass. I look funny with those, but... A memo written by the Sandman. How lovely it is to see children sleeping soundly. I would never want to lose their pure, trusting hearts. Let this room be dedicated to those children. Their portraits shall be accompanied by blessings. May their lives be brilliant ones. May they be joyful in the light of day and sleep peaceful in the dark of night. Oh, okay. A photo of a boy in a placard. Hikaru Andu, your fast feet make you popular in kindergarten. It makes me jealous to see you run. Keep your tenacity as you grow up. Oh, so each one talks about the kids on the walls. That's cool. Huh. Okay, so that's... That, that makes sense, then. I was wondering what that was. I thought that was, like, every kid that died earlier because of the, um... Because we didn't know he was evil or not because of the fact that we were thinking of the... The tale that the mother had told Sophie about the Sandman and not the actual Sandman. So he ran away thinking he was going to eat, eat her eyes or something. A memo written by the Sandman. Okay. Things were better then. The world was flat, so ma so day was day everywhere, and everywhere was night was night. Night came to all humans at the same time. But now what? The world is round, so whenever it's day, on the other side comes night. Night's when everyone's everyone's sleep slept ceased to be. Hmm. Okay. So he's being overworked then, kind of like our dad. So that's so I was a little bit wrong then. Huh. Okay. I don't think there was any more notes, were there? I don't think so, at least. Yeah, there wasn't one in the kitchen. There wasn't one in the right or the left. Um, there was one near the medicine storage, I think. Oh no, not, not this room specifically, but the over on our right. If we go back inside the glass room, if we go all the way upstairs again, um, inside his little workshop where the jewels are made, there should be a memo in there, and that should be the last one we haven't read yet. A memo written by the Sandman. Human souls are phenomenally beautiful. There's value in extracting and examining the them as jewels. Of course, once research is concluded, I intend to return them to their owners. But does that unicorn think I'll give him any to him? I know he has his own crude intentions for wanting to see humans' hearts. And if any were broken, there's no fixing them. He's even trying to break in. Despicable. I'll have to set up traps around this house. You won't take those precious souls. Oh. So it was bad that we gave it to him. And then the Sandman stole it back, so now he doesn't have it anymore. So maybe if we still had it, um... I don't know if it's a bad thing if Sandman has the jewel. So I feel like we're fine with that. Maybe. if As long as he's a good guy. Because he seems like... He's like... He's... He's an antagonist, but he's not, like, like a killer antagonist, I guess. Because we haven't seen him try to actually kill us. We're just afraid of him, I think. And that's why we can't be out in the open with when he's in the area. But he doesn't go directly to chase us down. Okay, so there's only one other place I can think of going. Let's see, I'm trying to remember where it is, though. Was it the tea room? I don't think it was. I think it's... Oh, not this area, either. I think it's past these two. It's wherever the world map room is. If I remember wherever it was. But honestly, I don't remember where it was. Um, Flame room. Medicine storage. Tea room. Oh no, I don't remember where it was. I know it's not here. So... Shoot, where was it? I actually don't remember where it was. I know I ran into it once or twice, but I, hmm, let me try and think of where I've been. Medicine storage. Oh, it's the medicine storage. Okay. It's the left room. No, it's not. What? Where was it then? Because, oh no, here. Okay. Okay, so it was near the medicine room. Um, it was this room we needed to go to. There's a hole in the floor. You see a ladder. Okay. I was actually thinking it was the holes over by the world map thing, but apparently it's this one. That's why I said I knew where we were going. Wait, this kind of looks like the um, the start of Undertale with the where you jump in the hole and then you fall into the flowers below. 
<laughs> that's actually kind of funny. I don't think that's an actual reference, though, for Undertale. I think this game came out way before it. There's something shiny on the ground. What is it? Ghana key to somewhere. Okay, so one of the many places we've been locked, um, locked up have opened now because we found the key to it. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning underground to since I'm bold. Oh, it's the guy from earlier. Um, he's kind of blocking where we're going. So, let's see here. A key who knows where. Did the Sandman drop it? There's only so many places. I'm going to say it's maybe the tea room area. So, we're going to use that to go here. I'm going to say it's probably there because there was the two people, um, Nixie and the Tooth Fairy being there. So, I'm guessing that's kind of your hint to go here. So, let's see. It won't open, it seems like. Oh, yeah, we might have to actually use the key. Let's try the key. Use the somewhere key. And opened up. Cool. Okay, so this is... Okay, so this might be where our water was. So we have the fire. We have some sort of bowl. Okay. A button. A mysterious machine. It has a funnel-y thing on top. Um, a milling machine. Oh yeah, we need to um, grind up the snore flute. fruit. I can grind up the snore fruit with this. Well, let's do that then. Um, let's drop our snore fruit into here. Grind it up. That's a loud noise. I didn't expect that in my ears. Made the snore fruit into powder. Okay, cool. Thick gloves made from made of leather. Okay. Well, let's grab those. A cutting board and a knife. I don't know what we're gonna use that for. There's something up here. Wonder what that's for. Unless that's oh, that's how you get up here. Oh, here's our water. Okay, perfect. So we didn't need the water. Okay, so I was wrong on that. I was thinking we need to grab some kind of pot, of, like a like a bucket of water for the kitchen area in order to make the potion or whatever we're making. Oh wait, we're making sleeping sand. Never mind. I guess technically it is a potion, I guess, but it's more of like sand you throw in people's eyes. But <laughs> I guess you could say it's a throwing potion. But it's, hmm. Okay. Oh, here we go. Um, let's not do that yet. I think we, yeah, we need the red flame. Um, can we grab this one? The candle has a wavering red flame. The candle's too hot to carry. The Sandman's memo said to boil the red flame, but how can I get this flame over there? Okay, so it says it's too hot. Maybe the leather gloves will help us. Thick gloves made of hide. Not sure who's hide. Well, let's try it. These gloves are thick, so maybe I can carry the candle. Kind of like, um, kitchen gloves. Huh? Even the flame isn't hot at all. Um, I can just carry the flame itself. Okay, well, let's take that over to the pot over here, and that's our first step done. Okay, now that we have the pot boiling, now we just need to do the rest of it. Okay, let's see here. I need to read the memo one more time. Let's see here. What's next? Grind up the snore fruit, which we already did. Boil the snore fruit in the cryogel fluid. Okay, and then you wait till it turns blue. Then put the counter lizard tail in. And then wait for it to turn yellow. Pour it into a sand-making machine, and then push the switch. Okay, got it. Okay, let's turn this little menu back on. Um, we needed this, and we needed the cryogel fluid. Wait for it to turn blue. Okay, wait for it to turn blue. Keep going. There it is. Then throw the counter lizard tail in. Turns into a yellow. And we are done. There we go, perfect. Okay, save it up. And now we just need to put it inside the thing. The broth has turned yellow. Yes, it has, but now how do we get it inside the machine? How do I get this into that machine? There's no ladle or anything. Hmm, button maybe? A button. Nope, some sort of bowl. Maybe we can grab the bowl. Maybe I can use this to transfer the broth into the sand making machine. Yeah, maybe. Got a bowl, perfect. Let's use our bowl on the pot. And maybe we can dip that in there and throw it into the machine. And hopefully that makes our sand, since I don't know why we need it, but it might be useful later. And let's just press the button. Push the button. I'm guessing that's how you start this thing up. Because I don't know about the actual sand making machine, but I know how to make the other stuff. There we go. A small pile of powder. Can I put it somewhere? I don't know if touching it would be a good idea with bare hands. I don't know if this thing will put us to sleep immediately. Is this sleeping sand? It definitely looks like it. Put the sleeping sand in the sack. Okay, Master Chef. I'm guessing if you get that at first try, maybe? Honestly, not sure, but we have the sleeping sand now. So, now where do we go? I guess we just leave. 
I don't have any other area to think of going. Hmm. So now that we have the sleeping sand, we have everything we need. So I'm going to guess... I don't think the tea room would have anything. Yeah, they're still doing what they're doing. Um, let's see here. Let's go to the entrance. Maybe that'll give us something. I'm going to try that one door that was locked originally. Maybe it's open now because the game has been opening doors for us whenever we do certain things. So maybe it's open now. It's locked. Okay, so we're not going there. So let's see here. Where has Lullaby went? That's actually where we should probably figure. Because if we can find Lullaby, it might lead us to where we need to be. Because right now I have no idea what to use the sand on. But honestly, I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't think we like these, honestly. I think that was just um, kind of telling us about the giant emerald flame and turning it off to turn the traps off. Because we don't have to worry about the traps anymore. Um, other than that, I got no clue on where to go now. Because now I'm kind of lost, because I... All I have is sand now. And other than that, I got no clue where to go. But maybe we just find the Sandman now, wherever he went off to. Maybe he's out in the forest, maybe? But honestly, I kind of doubt it, because I don't think he would just randomly go there. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's check the rooms again. Maybe he's hiding somewhere, or... Honestly, I don't think he's hiding. I think he's... I think we're just not sure where he where to go next. I wish there was like a hint system. That would be nice. Like if you get too lost, you get like small hints of where you need to go. Because honestly, I don't know what to do now. Because all we have is a sack. Oh, wait a minute. I might have an idea. Okay, I actually think I got an idea. Let's go to the medicine storage. Go into this room. Maybe we can use it on this. Let's try. Um, Let's try the sleeping sand on this machine. No. Okay, that doesn't work. Hole in the floor. Can I try the sleeping sand on this map? Nope. Okay. There's only, there's a couple areas where we can go, so I'm at least going to try that and see if it works. Um, and then we have the entrance. I'm going to at least check these first before we do any kind of skip, just to make sure we're going to certain right areas. Try it on the machine. Didn't work. Okay. So I've tried all the places that I would think it would be. And now I'm confused, so I'm going to do a skim, we're going to figure out where we're going, and then we'll be back on track. So BRB boys and girls, sorry for another cut. Okay, so the game kind of did give me a hint due to the fact that we were able to actually pick the fire up with just our bare hands with the leather gloves. And I should have been able to guess that, so let's grab the gloves, grab the fire, and we can do the next thing. Maybe I can carry the flame over there with these gloves. Maybe so. Okay, um, I'm going to... Um, try and see if we can turn the lever down so we don't get killed by traps. Okay, perfect. And just because I don't know what happens if you go through that room when you have that up and you're on the other side, I don't want to die. So let's put the fire there and now we have some stairs just like a Legend of Zelda game. <laughs> and just after doing Legend of Zelda 2 since this is before, or before Fire Emblem but after Legend of Zelda uh, Link's Awakening. So it's been pretty fun so far. I haven't been lost a couple times, but other than that, I've actually had a lot of fun with this. Definitely a lot more fun than I had with the Crooked Man. The Crooked Man just scared me. I didn't have much fun. I like the story, though. I really like the story, but the, sc the game was scary to me, because um, back in the day, that game was like one of my first like horror RPG games um, that I actually got into, because of the fact that um, there was only a couple ones that I actually watched before then. There was Angels of Death, which is my favorite, all-time favorite one. And then, um, I believe it was Witch's House is one that I watched back in the day. And, um, there was another one, I think Ao Oni, a little bit of Ao Oni. And that was basically all the RPG horror games I've ever watched. And then I got into this one, um, for The Crooked Man. And, uh, yeah, that game freaked me out a lot more than I expected it to, honestly. So, thankfully, this game has been a lot nicer than the Krugan Man was with the jump scares and stuff. Because, yeah, j j a rotten corpse chasing you around is a lot more scary than the monsters we've seen in this game. Because they're not really monsters, and they're just fairies, and we're just getting scared because um, it's more Sophie being scared of um, the unknown. 
And we're just getting scared over things that aren't actually scary, I think. That's basically what I'm thinking. But let's check out this diary real quick. It looks like a diary. <laughs> I actually kind of guessed that was a diary, but works for me. Oh, I'm sl so sleepy. I'm so sleepy. I can't stand it. How many creature centuries have I gone without sleep? Before when the world was flat, when night fell at one time, I could just work at night and sleep during the day. I was so pleased with my job then. But now the world is round, and night is everywhere. Whenever it's day, it's always night on the opposite side. For a world that where night is always falling, I cannot sleep. For I, if I sleep, then the humans will be sleepless. If I feel blessed when I can watch humans in peaceful sleep, but I can no longer properly enjoy it, if only I could have even a wink of such happy sleep myself. I've had enough. I've become so tired, I'm so sleepy I can't handle it. I created a machine to stop time. I'll stop it I'll stop time in the human world and put them all to sleep. Forever, yes, but only for a little while. Only for a little while. Forever's not a little while, buddy. I completed the internal sleeping sand. I stopped time and sprinkled it on the human world. Most humans fell asleep, but I, it seems not all those were with unease, anger, and sorrow. How sad to be unable to sleep. I will create a lullaby from their, for their sake. For the internal sleep they deserve, I'll clear up their grief. Humans have the right to be happy as they sleep. Honestly true. That meddling idiotic unicorn has brought a visitor to this world, Sophie Grundler, the girl with a, sm with a smile like a goddess of the sun. She too is one of the sleepless humans. Even my creation lullaby was ineffective. I must send her to sweet dreamland soon. That is my mission. Hmm. Okay. Sandman. What the heck is that thing? Oh, it's a lullaby. Made it here, huh, Sophie? Oh, so that's his normal form. So he's like a ghost kind of thing. Is that you, Lullaby? What happened to you? No need to be in that form anymore. Of course I'm just a lullaby, so I don't have any form. Oh, I guess true. But he's taking some sort of form, though. A more kind of like physical form than a, you know, dust-like form like the dust that we see. It seems like something happened with you, Sophie. You were glaring at me before, but now you have a much kinder look. Well, because you look like David. I guess. Do you not hate me now? I don't think she really did. I think she was just mad that David was with somebody. Um, no, I don't. Um, what about David? Hmm. How should I know? Hmm. Lullaby, so the Sandman was troubled and sleepless, too. That's right. He's so serious. Doesn't know how to take a break. That's what led us to our current situation. Hmm. So what do we do, then? Do we... Oh, we can help him sleep, maybe, with the Sandman's uh, little powder. Maybe that's what we can do. I feel so bad for him. How hard must that be? Sleepless for centuries before because of humans... Fairies are hard workers, so the Sandman could never sleep. He had to stay up and keep working. Hmm, it definitely seems that way. I kind of feel bad for him in a way, so see like what I was saying? I didn't feel like he was an actual villain. He was, he's the antagonist, obviously, but he's definitely not no villain. Because he's never killed us, obviously. So I don't think he's actually a bad guy. Um, Lullaby, what do you think I should do? Hmm, that's up to you, Sophie. No, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't want to sleep forever, but if I stop him, Sandman can't sleep. He's He'll still be suffering. Hmm, we can always help him out. If Sophie doesn't leave here, he could. we could help Sandman during the night or the day, so then he has a partner. And honestly, it sounds like Sophie doesn't really need to go back home, but... She might miss her father, though. That's the only thing. And then the father's gonna wonder where she went. So, honestly, that doesn't work either. Hmm. Honestly, all, all the Sandman needs is a partner that helps him during the day or the night. And then he can actually sleep. 
and then he won't have to worry anymore, but I don't think he know he thought of that. But maybe he's too, like, you know, gung-ho about him being all by himself and working on this project all by himself, maybe. So honestly, I'm not sure. Hmm, listen, Sophie. Didn't your mother always tell you, do what you want to do? I know what you want to deep in your heart, but you have to realize it for yourself. What do you want? Hmm. I have to stop the Sandman, but... Hmm, but what though? Sandman was in the long corridor earlier. Go meet him. Think it over, Sophie. Think about what you want. Hmm. A fairy's conscience. Okay. Well, let's save... And he said that he would be inside the magic in the long corridor. So let's teleport to the long corridor. And there we go. A letter. Hmm. I can read this without the glasses. It's just plain English. Okay, I'm guessing the Sandman. Let's see here. To my dear Miss Grundler, I presume you are well. While we have passed each other many, many a time, unfortunately it would appear we have been unable to understand each other. I am prepared a special sleeping sand for you. Surely with the sand, even you will be able to slumber. I shall be waiting at the top of the castle. I hope you will not run away. The stairs are very old and full of holes, so please take care not to hurt yourself, my dear. Sandman. See, he's not a bad guy. He doesn't want to see it hurt, so he wasn't trying to kill us. Maybe he was trying to put us to sleep. Maybe. Maybe when he was chasing us down, so he's he just wants us to come to him instead. So we need to figure out what we want to do. We can either let him do what he wants to do, or we can put him to sleep. Either one works, honestly. Sandman. Hmm. Got the Sandman's letter. Well, let's do a nice save, and let's make our way up to the Sandman. Watch out for the holes, like you said, and not fall into them. I'm not sure what actually happens if you fall into them. I don't know if you actually do die, but... I'm not going to test it, because honestly, it's not really worth trying. Well, there he is. Sandman. Guessing he still can't talk to us. Yep, still can't talk to us. It was hard not being able to sleep, right? I understand. I've been suffering the same way. Really, I'd want to be, be put to sleep, too. I've wondered how good it would be to forget all the bad things and sleep. But... I don't want to sleep forever. I want to wake up, even if it might be a bad day. Hmm. I'm sorry, I can't understand Sandman, but this is the only thing I can do. Okay, we're having a fight scene. This is the first one we've ever done, so I don't know how this works in this game. Oh, it's a kind of like in um, the other game. Okay, he dashes forward like the Crooked Man, and he also has an AoE attack, though. Okay, he's got 80 HP, so he has the same HP as us. I don't think he can attack me as ma as um, as fast, so we can tie tire attacks. It seems. Oh, I got an extra hit on him, but I can't I can't sort it out. Okay, so far so good. We're gonna get really close to going down. Okay, he's at ten of of a hundred. Okay, let's see here. I'm guessing I'm gonna use the sleeping sand on him. I think that's a good idea. I want him to go to sleep. I want him to sleep. So we could have a nice rest. Okay. Okay, sorry buddy, but you need some sleep. You've been awake for centuries. Go to sleep. I'm not sure what happens if I didn't do that. I'm pretty sure he would just put me to sleep, but might as well just put him to sleep so he can at least have something. <sighs> Good night, Sandman. Good night indeed, buddy. You don't have to put up with it anymore. Take a nice rest. Yeah, take a nice rest, little buddy. And I hope you enjoy your nice slumber. Hopefully it doesn't put him to sleep forever, though. Hmm, Sophie. Hey, lullaby. I put your master to sleep. I hope you're not mad about that. You put the sun man to sleep. Yep, I have. I couldn't kill him. He put up with so much for humans. He just wanted to sleep. Oh, so if we didn't put him to sleep, we would kill him. Oh, okay. Uh, That would have been scary. Hmm, how long will he sleep? Hmm, who knows? He was up for centuries straight. Maybe he'll sleep for centuries too. Hmm, I see. Hmm, what is it, Sophie? Honestly, not sure. 
Maybe it was all that effort. Oh, you've tired now? But I feel really sleepy now. <laughs> well, I'm down. I'm Sophie. I'll see you later, lullaby. I'm probably down for the count. It's no good. I'm just too sleepy. Two insomniacs down for the count. If I fall asleep now, if I can't wake everyone up, will all humans die in their sleep? Uh, who knows? Um, no, they won't die. Time is stopped for them. They'll just keep sleeping. Hmm, that's good. Yeah, honestly, it's probably good. If I... If I can wake up, I won't just pull, put up with the bad things. I'll get back at Regan, and I'll tell Anne a thing or two. Wait, Anne didn't do anything. And Papa, I'll apologize to him. Yeah, you need to apologize to the poor man. He didn't do anything. And also, I'll try to be friends with David. I'm sad I never even told him. But now, we can be friends. I just want to have fun with him. I wonder if David thinks of me as his friend. Well, obviously he does. Of course. You should know best how nice he is. Yeah, he definitely is nice. There's so much I've wanted to do. I want to think about tomorrow, but I'm so, I'm too sleepy to stay up. Hmm. Oh! Hello? Lullaby just changed into a new form. Hello? Hmm? Mm ma? Oh, we turned to our mother. I, I guess. Shh. Quiet, dear. Not another word. There's nothing to worry about. Oh, he's trying to do a lullaby for us. You don't have to fear any monsters in the closet. I'll be right here. <laughs> Did you say your prayers before bed? But I haven't heard you say it yet. Sophie, say it for me. Okay. Um, I think I remember how this goes. Okay. Unless Sophie... If Sophie doesn't say it, I'll try and do it. Um, good night, Mama. Yeah, good night. I think it's... I lay my head, um, for my soul to keep. I forgot the actual thing. Oops. I actually don't remember the actual... how it goes. It said it at the very beginning, but I don't know it since... I haven't done it since I was, like, 10. And I'm, like, 21 now, so it's been 11 years, so I actually don't remember the whole thing. I just remember the very end of it. Well, Sandman and me are asleep, so what happens to the rest of the world? And... Will Sarah be okay in the morning? Because we don't know how long Sarah is going to be asleep, too. Or, not Sarah. I don't know why I said Sarah. I mean, Sophie. Yeah, I don't know when Sophie's going to wake up again. Oh, the Sandman woke up before me. And he doesn't look as tired. Well, I guess he's going to do something with me. I'm not sure what, but hopefully this leads to a good ending. Oh, he's taking us back home. Oh, thank you, Mr. Sandman. That's very nice of you. Um, hopefully he starts time back up instead of, um, you know, being the crazy little Sandman he was. Mm hmm. I, w I wish we could understand him because I wonder what he would say if, um, we can actually hear what he's saying. Because I feel like he's saying some other things that we would like to know, but because of the fact that we don't understand his language, we can't actually communicate with the Sandman. The only way we can is through his memos and if he actually writes to us, like he did with the letter. It looks like he started the clock back up, since the clock is ticking now. And we are nice and awake. Morning. Yep, morning indeed. Am I back? Seems that way. Looks like we made him turn back the time. He's no longer crazy, and he's not crazy anymore. Was it all a dream? Hmm. It definitely wasn't. I could tell you that one. Well, let's grab our clothes since maybe we're going to school. That's all I can think of. The dad's clock takes on. Well, outside we go. Oh, our dad's here. Papa, weren't you staying at work? Hmm. Morning, Sophie. I was working, but I fell asleep. I just got back now. Hmm. Well, um, how's everything going? Oh, yeah, wait a minute. We might say we might apologize to him now. Wait, Sophie. Is there something you wanted to tell me? Yeah. Um. What? Um. Uh, what was that call from school about? I've never gotten a call from Sister Mary before. What in the world happened? Um. 
You didn't do anything bad, did you? Um, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Listen, Sophie, I... I said I don't know. I didn't do anything wrong. Why did you get called? Just think about it. But not like you do would know. Oh, th come on, it's not his, the dad's fault. Um, that's right, you wouldn't know, because you would never pay attention to me. Just work, work, work. Never spend any time with me. Sophie, you said you were going to say sorry to him. When was the last time we ate together? When did you last say good night or good morning? You've never even done that for me. Um, I'm not a good kid, because my selfishness made you made you push yourself again. Sophie. Is this not the good ending? I thought putting the Sandman to sleep would be a good ending. But it looks like Sophie's just breaking down on everyone now. Oh no, that's not good, Sophie. Your hair's all red. Did you hit your head? Um, are you bleeding? Oh, right. That's just a regular color, silly me. Can we punch her, please? I didn't like her before. Can we knock her out this time? Is your house built on a cliff or what, Regan? Huh? Um, just look at that hair. It's like you got a tor got in a tornado and the tornado won. <laughs> you won the one to tornado and lost. <laughs> but if you live on a windy cliff, that might explain a few things. Like a blowhard you are. Oof. <laughs> Regan's friends are laughing at that one. How do you like that, Regan? Um, what are you girls laughing at? <laughs> Hey, what's gotten into you? Huh? What's gotten into you? I'm the only one who can ever show off in front of. You've always been Regan the bl blubbering crybaby. Um, you- <laughs> Hey, stop it, you two. Oh, no, we're beating her up. What's all this about? Uh, Sister Mary, I'm sorry about this. My world. My weird, um, what happened here? Um... Sophie's kind of becoming a bad person for some reason, and I don't know why. Miss Grundler, Miss Bloomberg, you're coming to my room this instant. You first, Miss Grundler. Seriously? Come on, Sophie, you did not have to do this. I quit being your sandbag. If you make fun of me, I'll pay it back in hundredfold, and nobody's making fun of my mom's red hair. Oof. I decided I'll fix my own problems. I'll do what I can do about the things I don't like. How about you do the same? Hmm. If you swear to never bully me again, I'll gladly take it talking out with you, like old times. Hmm. Maybe giving the gem to the, um... Oh no, the Sandman got the gem in the end. It wasn't the actual unicorn, so... Sophie! Hey, Anne, I think you're about to get yelled at. Why did you do that? That was so mean to Regan. Wait. You're saying we were mean to Regan, but you never yelled at um Regan for yelling at... Okay, now you kind of do deserve to be yelled at, because now you're protecting Regan, and you're not protecting us. Okay, that's not fair. Um, does it matter to you, Anne? I'm not the one being teased. Um, I do care, Sophie. Then why did you ever... Why, why do you only ever watch? You said you were worried... But you just stayed quiet. You were just glad it meant that. Um, you wouldn't be a target, weren't you? No, I, I wanted to help, but... Liar, just tell the truth. Say you were too scared. Sophie. Well, you just lost your probably your only friend. I'm sorry. I was the one who told you that. That I was fine. So you shouldn't worry. I really did want someone to help. But I put it up with it so you wouldn't worry. I thought you might not be my friend. So I was the liar. Hmm. But I'm not doing that anymore. I won't let Regan get the better of me. I'll send her insults back and answer if she p picks a fight. You might not like that, but if it's, if it's okay with you, I'd like us to stay friends. Uh, will Anne do that after being yelled at? Technically, we didn't yell at her because technically we said sorry immediately after, like we did with the father. Regan didn't deserve a sorry, honestly, so honestly, I know why she didn't say sorry for that one. I'm so disappointed in you, Miss Grunler. 
a scuffle in the middle of the classroom? As a young lady, you should be ashamed. While I don't know what happened myself, such a violent behavior is so un unbefitting of you. It's like what a little kid would do. Hmm. Do you remember the passage from the Job um, at the ser ser uh, sermon? Enduring suffering heightens your merit. Hardships is no reason to use force. Hmm. I am no saint. Same. I'm just going to be honest. And why is that? I can just grin and bear it, but it doesn't mean I'll be repaid. Greater merit. Am I really supposed to just put up with all my hardship for that? Not even. Screw up putting up with bad things to be called a saint. I don't want to be a saint. I just want to be human. It's far more important to be able to sleep at night, to do everything I can day by day, and to sleep looking forward to him tomorrow. Are you talking back to me, Miss Grendler? Do you think it's right to be childishly do as you please? Do you think God would approve? And why can't you be a child? What was it? Was it? The kingdom of heaven belongs to those such as these? Do not raise such a... Oh, wait, no, that's her. Do not raise such quibbles with me. What am I saying is that your attitude is... I don't think Sophie cares. I don't mind if God doesn't care for me. Oof, you don't want to say that to the sister. I think she's going to get mass massively, massively mad at that. Because ever since I was little, I know I've had someone watching over me. I will be telling your father about this. He may be busy with work, but this is cannot overlook. I'm going to have a long talk with him. Uh, do whatever you, what you will, sister. Be, But he won't be available today. I have important business with him. What does that mean? Um, Miss Grunler. Hmm. I don't know what that means. I hope we don't yell at the father again. The poor old man didn't do anything. Um, uh, hey, Dad. Um, Papa, did you not go to work? I'm guessing he said no to work today. Hmm. I took the day off. Oh, I see. He took the day off to be with his daughter. That's nice. So he does care. Um, Sophie. I'm... I'm, I'm sorry um, for not realizing how you felt. I thought you hated me. You're in high school now, and I wanted to be close, but I thought you'd be annoyed. I'm busy at work, true, but I convinced myself if I just kept working, you could be happy, but I guess I must be misguided. I don't didn't know how lonely you felt. I'm truly sorry, Sophie. Can you forgive your papa? What is it, Sophie? I'll... I'll be praying for the day I can. Sophie. Did we get- Oh. I was thinking we got a bad ending. I, d I don't know if this is a good ending or a bad ending at this point. Because we've been just blowing up on people. I'm sorry for the awful things I did. I love you, Papa. I was scared to sleep in an empty house. I worried over things that were hiding in the closet like I was a little kid. I don't want to be alone. Papa, stay with me. Hmm. Of course, Sophie. You're my precious daughter. <laughs> Today's the end of a long, cold war before between us. How about we go out for something to eat, Sophie? Yeah, how about it? Um, sorry, Papa. Hold that thought. There's somewhere else I want to go. Oh, yeah. We gotta see. How we gotta see if David wants to be our friend. And there's his girlfriend, wife. I don't want to honestly know, honestly, because we never got closure on that. Because it was an ex before, and then they got together at the end again. So I don't know exactly what's going on with these two. Ow, oh, jeez. Um, what did you do? I fell asleep watching uh, TV at your place, so my neck's really sore. Um, no wonder your neck looked crooked. Crooked, you say? <laughs> crooked, you say? There's a nice reference to the crooked man. I was waiting for that. Um, David... Hey, Sophie. Long time no see. Oh, oh, right. I should introduce you. This is Shirley, my fiance. Um, nice to meet you, Sophie. I've heard about you from David. Um, hi, Shirley. Nice to meet you, too. Huh. You seem pretty happy. Something good happen? Huh. Yeah, actually. Well, there's a lot I want to talk about. A lot happened, and a lot changed. With Anne, Regan, and Papa. And also the Sandman. Hmm, Sandman. Feels like I've heard of that. What was it? 
Um, he's a fairy, David. A sleeping fairy. He uses his sand to put people to sleep. <laughs> that is indeed the truth. Well, that sounds like... Oh, wait, no, that's her. Well, it sounds like lots of fun, Sophie. We're going out for dinner. So do you want to come? You can tell me all about it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds... Um, that sounds great. Um, sure, let's go. Wait, but what about the dad? He wanted to go to eat. Huh. Hmm. Well, see you later, David and Sophie. Or Shirley. And Sophie. Is that the end, then? Because she just said peace out to us. Like, she acknowledged that we were there. Unless she was saying goodbye to the Sandman. Oh, she was! She knew the Sandman was watching. <laughs> I thought that was like a third, like a, you know, like, fourth wall joke. Where she knew that we were watching over her. So ends the tale of the Sandman. Made up. Of course it isn't. You remember it, don't you? Though you were asleep, you remember a night that felt like an eternity. That night was the night you slept, while the Sandman, Sandman stopped time. Now close your little eyes. I'll tell you another story tomorrow. Oh, good night, my little dear. And I'm guessing that was the mother that told the story then. Oh. Happy end number one. Don't stay up too late. Oh, cool. Wait, it says number one, so does that mean there's two happy endings? And there we go with the end of the game. Um, I don't know if this music is copyrighted or not, but it's, you know what, I'm gonna let it go. So I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'm gonna let you guys um, stay with the credits here because I don't know how long it is and honestly talking over the credits is a little weird. So I'm gonna let the credits go and I'll see you guys very shortly. So be your boys and girls. And we'll talk about the, how I feel about the game very shortly. Okay, so we got this for beating the game. Congratulations on beating the Sandman, and thank you for playing. To those who also played the Crooked Man, you have my additional thanks. Hey, they're talking about me. <laughs> yeah, because I played the, the Crooked Man and did everything. We did all the endings, we did the game all over again to get the good ending, and we did a lot with the Crooked Man, and now we're done with the Sandman. Um... I don't know how many, like, you know, endings there are, so we might end up doing that, but I don't know if there might be a little bit more. I don't know yet, so we'll, I want to see what's at the end of this before we say what we do next. This game differed in every way from its predecessor. Apologies to those who were expecting a, um, the Crooked Man-like story, but I had been planning this since starting the last game. I'm very glad you have finished it. The Something Man series, um... The Strange Man series currently has four games in it. The story and mood differ depending on the man, so I hope people will try the other entries. The next one's called The Boogie Man, so... Yeah, the next game's gonna be a horror game. I'm just gonna say it straight up. There's no way it's not horror. So, all these aren't horror games then, so this is more... Hmm. So technically this is an adventure then, because... It w if he's saying it like that, the mood is more not of a horror, but more of a confused and, like, s dazed and confused kind of story. Again, congratulations, and thank you for playing. Well, that's kind of how I got out of it. Like, you didn't know what you were doing. But that made sense, though, because you didn't know if the, the Sandman was a bad guy or not. Oh, wait. I'm uh, one of those little firefly things. 
This bed leads to a bonus scenario, where you can see the story from a different perspective. Beat it to get some extras, such as a character bios. It should take about an hour to go through. Recommended for those who want all the plots. Oh. So you say. Okay, so there is more here. Okay. So if that is the case, and there's a second scenario with more to go through, and my controller literally just died, so perfect timing on that, because we're at the end of the episode for now. So, that means this isn't the final episode, then. We have one more scenario that takes about an hour to go through. So in the next um, episode, we are going to be doing the bonus scenario. I'm going to take a guess and say we might be playing as one of the side characters. Maybe the Sandman, maybe the Unicorn. I don't think the Unicorn. Honestly, it would make no sense. But I could see it happening. Either Sandman, Unicorn, Nyx, Tooth Fairy, or the Dwarf. One of those five. Unless we play as David, that'd be kind of cool. But I'm going to say either one of those five. But thank you all for watching today's episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day. In the next one, we're going to be doing the bonus scenario. And... Hmm. I'm going to say... I'll see if we can put the endings in that episode as well. If not, if I feel like it's too long of an episode, I'm going to do... Hmm. Yeah, we'll put all the endings in maybe its own episode. And the like an extra episode that will release the same day as the bonus episode. So, when we do the next episode, we'll have two episodes the same day. So we'll have the bonus and then all the endings. So, thank you all for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll be seeing you all in our bonus scenario. Peace out, boys and girls, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out. Hey, boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.